dude. I can't even believe that happened to me. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another motherfucking YouTube video. <laughs> died and you couldn't even fucking catch me welcome back to another motherfucking youtube video as you guys can see for today's youtube video i got cheated on <laughs> that was a long ass time ago now nah, that was a long ass time ago for the clickbait girlies i'm just gonna put it right here right fucking now I did not get a cheater on right now in this motherfucking present or else i would not have been in my room i would have probably been in someone else's room probably couch hopping. <laughs> Today I have decided that not only did I want to talk some cheese man with you guys because I feel like you guys don't even know a lot of my pasado and this that I met Ellen I, you guys I have always just talked more about the things I want to do the things I'm currently doing or my fucking trauma. Girl like that's not all that I am I'm also a lot of other things. I also have like a past life where I got cheated on like three times and then also like I had three girlfriends and then like I was gay you know like a lot of things happened to me during my high school years that a lot of you guys don't actually know that built me who I am. A lo mejor maybe if I share this with you guys, maybe you guys get to know me a little bit and be like, ah, por eso es así ese muchacho, porque yo cheated on. <laughs> Pero antes que empecemos este video, les quiero enseñar what Lego set we are doing today. Now, I did want to just give you guys like a kind of like a mukbang experience, but amigas, I am on a full on weight journey right now where I'm not losing weight anymore, which thank you God, not too long ago if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I posted my weight loss transformation, which was 45 pounds. Girl, isn't that crazy? Crazy what 45 pounds can do to you, right? Anyways, I have officially decided that I'm doing weight training and I have actually started weight training for like three months already That's why I have kind of like chee cheese in my picture right now But I have been working really fucking hard at the gym because the last two years ago. I wasn't like this I was like gaining weight like every Winter like I was like a bear honey bunch like I would <laughs> For hibernation girl like I was like a bola like I was in chato but now I am happy to be I want to go ahead and do this series where I talk cheese man with you guys and I do Lego sets because I feel like that's so much fun. But for today's Lego set, we have a little orchid. Look. Isn't she so cute? You know, I think orchids are so beautiful because of how pink they are. And you know, I just believe that flowers that have color are like crazy. You know, like how is it that they can build other colors? For today's Lego set, we have a 608 pieces. I mean, that's a little funny story about this. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, because I'm literally all over the place. I'm literally all over your For You page and your YouTube page and your Twitter page and your OnlyFans page. I'm everywhere. But if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, I told Alan this year on Valentine's Day que yo quería unos de estos rather than real flowers. Did he listen? Fucking idiot. Dude, like... How can I make it more clear? I literally posted it on my Twitter with me, not even a repost, babe. Y nunca me lo agarró el muchacho, stupido motherfucker. I hate men. Uh, okay, but let's go ahead and open this beach up. So this is what comes inside. It's a bolsa. For most of you guys that don't know how to build Legos because you're illiterate and dumb, this is what a Lego set looks like inside. It comes with little bolsitas. It is super easy to build Lego sets. You know, it comes with a fucking whole ass extraction manual. So like, you can't be dumb not to do this. If you could build an Ikea fucking dresser, I think you should be fine. I do have like a step-by-step -step process on how I do this because I'm such a picky Lego set person. I like to start bag per bag. I'm sure everybody likes to start bag per bag. Pero, yo tengo un little bit minor of OCD and I have to organize them before I do anything because I don't know what. So we're gonna start off with the first, very first little bag. Yummy! Okay, so let's take a look at the instructions. Okay. And the first bag Lego set, lo que vamos a creer hoy va a ser este. 
Okay, so I'm going to Guys, I'm so excited. You know, I just, I love Lego so much. When I was younger, I would tell my mom to buy me, like, Lego sets. Ni sé si la muchacha todo la tiene, but, like, she should have kept it. Like, I was an artist. Like, I don't understand. Like, I would build big ass ones. Like, I would build, like, dragon ones. I think he even had, like, a really big, like, bridge one. I don't even remember. I think it was the Eiffel Tower. No, no, no. I don't think it was the Eiffel Tower because the Eiffel Tower, no. Ni me recuerdo, pero just know that I built one, and I don't have pictures, so you just have to believe me, okay? You guys, how long do you think that this is gonna take me? Because I believe this is gonna take me forever. Okay, so let's just organize these switches. I'm really quick with my feet, okay? I'm really quick. I'm really quick, okay? Just, I'm really quick. Okay, now that it's organized, let's go ahead and start with the first piece. Now, this is the first pack. How many bags is there? Three. Oh, two, three, four. Oh, oh there's only four. Okay, so I think this is going to be fairly easy on me, guys. Okay, so should we already start with the story time? Did I, did I make you guys wait a lot? Did I make you guys wait? Good. Okay, so this is the part where since I'm building my Lego set, you're going to go get me some wine. Go. Go hurry up. I like red wine, so go. Y si quieres, tú también vete a un nuevo, amiga. Okay, you guys. So, let's just start off with the story time right up fucking now, okay? Wait, wait. Let's just build up um, a little bit of this, and then I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll come back. Okay, amigas, ya tenemos el primer página de el book. Okay, so let's just start off with the story time what I built this. Let's go back to sophomore year with Daniel Montas. Now, sophomore year was a little bit of a different one because I had officially already had came out. <laughs> And already, everyone was already, like, asking me, like, oh, is it true? Are you gay? You know? And I was like, yeah, babes, I'm gay. You want to see a video of it? Because, like, yeah, of course I was already hooking up with men, honey bunch. But, like, why is everyone questioning me? During that time, I ended up dating this cheerleader. Now, it was a guy cheerleader, okay? And that guy cheerleader was also in my dance class. And he ended up cheating on me, too. But besides the point of him, we're not talking about him, he ended up breaking up with me. <laughs> he ended up breaking up with me, yeah, yeah, I'll tell you guys another story time if you guys want to hear about that one. Right after him, of course, my little corazoncito was like broken. I was over here like crying because he literally left me, but he literally cheated on me. Like, I should have left him, right? <laughs> right, all right. I was looking through Facebook and I saw that this guy hit me up. And he was a senior, you guys. He was a senior. My, the ex one, the one that broke up with me, he was a junior. So of course I was even hyped up because I was like, oh, I leveled the fuck up from this motherfucker. So we started talking for like a while and you know, we would visit each other very frequently. I wouldn't at first go to his school, um, but he would first start going to my school. And I didn't think anything of it. I thought it was like super sweet. Like he came over to my school and like he would pick me up and we would go get something to eat and like, you know, it was a vibe, but like even we would even go to the park. You know, there was a time where I had um, stolen money from my mother. <laughs> you know, it's not funny right now because I'm an adult, you know, because like I wish I would have never done that, but I did steal from my mother for this guy. You know, los fuimos a Disneylandia, and I did spend a good amount of my mom's money at Disneyland with this guy. Like, I can't believe how head over heels I was so much with this guy that I would be, like, down to spend my mom's hard earned money on him, not even myself, bitch. Like, que tan estupido soy. We would go to a lot of the Disneyland dates, and, like, he would text me so often. Like, we were so good. Then we started like going up a level in our relationship where I would actually go after school and I would tell my mom, dude, I would literally tell my mom that I was in an after school program. 
she would leave it. And I would literally take the bus. If you guys live in SoCal, if you guys don't live in SoCal, let me see how I can describe it. But if you guys do live in SoCal, okay. So if you guys live in California, um, or more in the OC area, you guys know Anaheim, Disneyland area, okay? Think about that. I went all the way over there to Santa Ana Beach. Not only just regular Santa Ana, like almost borderline deep Santa Ana Beach. Like I would go so far to like meet up with this dude and like, you know, kiki with him. Ah, and kiss the little man, you know. Ah. We ended up getting so close that I would start picking him up from school. Um, I would go to his to his house even. I even met his dad, dude. He ended up living in a really small room, but it's okay. Like, you know, I was a child. I didn't even know like what a fuck was anything. He lived in a really small room. Anyway, I'm just giving you guys the story time. I'm not reminiscing here and you're over here like, what the fuck? Like you're reminiscing you have Alan. No, I'm just telling you guys the backstory of how head over heels I was for this guy. You know, I wasn't like deeply in love with him, but like it was a good rebound from my ex. And like he was giving me a lot of attention. So like, of course, I'm going to fall head over heels with him. And he would buy me stuff. And he would pick me up from school. And he would buy me lunch. Like, girl, it was like a, a whole last Disneyland trip for me. I would do it kind of to make my other ex jealous because... Okay, so with my other ex, we would have still lunch together with his friends because originally they were my friends first, but then they moved over like on his side. Sepa la verga. I don't even know what fuck happened, but we were all together all the time. There was a point where I kind of just didn't give a fuck and we ended up being friends again. Well, kind of, not really. But anyways, um, so yeah, I would talk to him on the phone all the time during lunch. Let me, let me slow the fuck down because bitch, I think I'm getting to the end of the story. So let me build a little bit. Okay, you guys, so I had to already built the second page meeting, and it rotates, how cool. Okay, next page. Have you guys ever been cheated on before, though? Like, BS aside, though, comment down below right now. Have you been a victim? Uh, have you been a victim of being cheated on? Because, girl, isn't that crazy, like, how these little men are okay with doing these things? Porque no está bien. No está bien y alguien los tiene que poner en su puto lugar. You know, something that I think is like super controversial with a lot of people is that would you beat up? Okay, so let's say for example, you know, metaphorically, uh, metaphorically, let's say like Alan ended up cheating on me. Would I beat up the guy that he's cheating on me with or would I beat up Alan? Which one would you beat up? Like if you were in the same scenario, like, who would you beat up? And you know, is that rude to say I would beat him up? I think to me, like to me, it's kind of thinking about it this way. What if the fella, I, what if the other dude or the other girl didn't even know? And it was your man that was being a little stinky little piggy. And that's still beating up the wrong person. I'm like, pinche mensa morra pendeja estupida. Like, como no sabes? If you already went through his text messages, I would have fucking went deep into it or I would have done a lot of more investigation before I go. I kai you, bitch. I kai you. You know, it kind of just depends on the scenario. Or could you fuck him up both? <laughs> We have finished the first bag and this is a little contraction that it made from the first bag. So I'm so excited because guess what? We are 25% there. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the second box, the second little baggie. Now this definitely looks fairly easy, so I think we're gonna win. I think we're gonna win. I think we're gonna win. You know, I get excited when I open a new bag because I don't know what I'm expecting. I always forget how like uh, Legos kind of like hurt your hands because of how small they are and I have really big fucking hands that's the one fucking thing that I can tell you is that I have really big fucking hands all right and this shit is so hard when it comes to like really small pieces 
But um, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, so let's just go, let's just continue with the story time. Okay, so where did I leave off? Okay, que estaba todo enamorado de él. Okay, so one day I had planned. Now this is a week a weekend. I had planned that I wanted to go to the beach with him. I, since I was little, no sé por qué, siempre me ha encantado la, la, la playa. I feel like it's so relaxing, it's so nice. Like, you can never get wrong with the beach, you know what I mean? But that day I wanted to go just because I wanted to go, and, and he was my boyfriend, and I thought it was very romántico vibes, you know? So, um, one day I was like, oh, I really want to go. So I told my mom that I was going to go with some friends, and if she could give me some money. And my mom ended up giving me $50, bitch. $50. You know how good that is? So I ended up packing my little bag and I was all horny and stuff, all excited. So he ended up texting me. He's like, okay, like let's meet at my school. And I was like, all right, let's do it. So we meet, so I'm on my way to the bus station. Now, mind you, I decided that I would go to the bus station that was furthest away from my house because era capaz que my mom fucking caught me at the bus stop and she's like, ¿Qué estás haciendo aquí? You know? Like, I was not about to have her catch me in my plans about to go meet up with my man. You know what I mean? I don't know cómo pasó, ni sé cómo pasó. I was already getting into the bus, right? And as I was getting inside of the bus, for some weird reason, I was like looking through my pocket and I lose the fucking money. I had already paid the guy, pero se me perdió el pinche dinero. Se me perdió y ni me recuerdo cómo pasó, dude. Like, I just remember one minute I had money and the next minute I didn't. And, you know, I was a little high schooler, so of course, like, I needed money, like, I was traveling the world through the bus and here you are stopping me with no money and my mom for the first time me da dinero y lo pierdo como pinche pendejo. <gasps> Estúpido motherfucker, tan morran que eres Daniel Montes. Oh my god, Loki, like it's kind of coming along and um, I didn't expect it to be Loki this tiny. I thought it would be a little bigger, like a whole ass vase. A whole ass vase from Princess House or something. The little maceta, how cute! I love it so much. Next, bitch. So now we're gonna open up bag number three, and I'm so excited because I think this is gonna be the plan. That's <sighs> oh shoot. Oh my god, dude, my life is like ending it right before my eyes. Okay, let's chill the fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, hopefully I don't need that anytime soon. You already know the drill. We gotta organize, organize, organize these four. Oh my god, y'all, look. It's coming together. Look, I'm excited. Okay, so let's just keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, y'all, so if there's any Lego sets that you guys want me to build with you guys, let me know or if, see if you guys for some reason are like, let's, let's see if it's worth it to go buy it or not. Like, let me know so I can build it. And I can give you guys more story times as I do this because this is a lot healthier than doing a mukbang. <laughs> We finished up our little plant. How cute. Look at her. She's not finished up just yet. We have one more bag to go, but I just think this is so motherfucking cute so far. I love it. I love it so much. And I'm going to be displaying this in my restaurant for everyone to see because, bitch, I didn't just fucking spend a whole last hour and a half building a whole last Lego for nobody to see. Ah, uh, that's how I have my Bowser right now. My Bowser is deep 
six feet under in Alan's office. Because, girl, like, <gasps> that should be messy. So, like, my Bowser is not anywhere to be seen right now. But now we are going to go on with our last and final bag. The fourth one. And the cool thing about this one is that this one is super quick because todos son nada más las little petals. So yeah, I just think it's going to be extremely easy. I was already looking over it and it kind of just says to do six of the same thing. So I think it's going to be fairly easy. But while I do this, let's go ahead and finish off the story because, girl, I left you guys hanging for a little bit. You guys were trying to get the whole last tea and you guys didn't do it. I just wanted to give you guys like a good moment to see me do my Lego because I'm not going to give you the whole dish and then you leave and then I can't even build my Lego, motherfucker. Well, I was already on my way and you know I had already texted him like all of the good stuff like I'm on my way like I can't wait to see you you know all the cute little stupid little stuff that you tell your boyfriend when you're oh fuck dude I feel like I lost a couple of pieces because I keep dropping most of them hold on hold on what was I saying okay so like I was on my way and mind you guys that this was literally like a whole ass hour bus ride Yes, bitch, I would take the bus to go see him. And, dude, like, it took forever. And in my mind, my little mind, I was like, fuck, like, I lost my money. Hopefully, it's not, like, an issue. Like, I really wanted to spoil him. Y yo ya le dije that I was gonna spoil him. Yeah, so I ended up getting on the off the bus. And I was, like, texting him, um, like, hey, I'm here. Hey, you know, I'm here, I'm here, like, hey, you know, I'm here, like, where are you? And he wouldn't text me back. So, like, I was, like, stranded for a fat-ass minute, like, just waiting for him. And, mind you guys, he had told me that he was watching a play of one of his homies. So, like, I didn't, you know, I didn't think twice about it. I was like, oh, okay, like, you know, the play had already probably started. So, like, I'm not gonna, you know, disturb him. So, I'll just go ahead and wait. So, I was walking around the park, you know, just kind of getting excited to see him. And then he texts me, hey, the play is done. And I go, okay, I'm on my way. I start going to, like, the little auditorium area where they have the play, right? And there's like a gated fence, so like you can't really, like, if I'm hiding behind that fence, like, no me puedes ver tanto. So as I go past by the fence, he's really far, mind you también, okay? He's really far. As I'm passing by the fence, I see him give some flowers to some dude. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck is happening right now? I was like, is this real? Maybe se lo está dando porque, pues, congratulations on tu very first play or algo así, you know? Like, you know, I'm still trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Why are you giving another man some flowers? You know, a little sissy right there. Then he leans in for a hug. And I'm still watching this behind this gate. Like, my heart is beating, like, so fast. Y'all, like, me, me tienes idea how fast it was going. <laughs> yeah, you guys have no motherfucking idea how fast my heart was going because I was already thinking the worst. And then the worst happens. He ends up kissing him in the mouth. I was speechless. I was flabbergasted. I was breathtaking. I was dead inside all over again because I had been cheated for the second time in a row. Oh my God. Yeah. So when I saw him kiss this dude, I just bursted into tears, anybody. Bursted into tears. I just couldn't, like my mind couldn't like understand exactly what was going on at that moment. Like I was kind of like, mire esto correcto, estoy pendejo. Mire esto correcto, estoy pendejo. O estoy pendejo. So I just burst it out into tears and I just went to go walk around the park that was right there. And he kept calling and calling my phone and I just kept sending him to voicemail. And like he just kept calling and calling and in my head, dude, I was crying. You should have seen me like, 
I was crying and like I wanted to go home and I couldn't go home because I didn't have money and back then Uber didn't exist so like who the fuck was I gonna call? I was not gonna be able to get like a bus ride home and I was like trying to see my navigation to see how far it really was from where I was to my house and it was 12 hours bitch. If you guys know from Anaheim all the way to Deep Santa Ana, I believe it. 12 fucking hours. I believe it. I believe it. And I was... At a point, I was kind of like, shit, I'm kind of down. I'm kind of down because I am not trying to see this motherfucker from now on, you know? But like, dude, like 12 hours, I would have gotten home exhausted at literally midnight. Y mi pobre madre would have been like, what the fuck? Like, where'd you come from? I thought he was like my prince, eh? He was gonna sweep me away from my feet, eh? <laughs> But he didn't. All he did was sweep me away with a broom and cheat on me. I was also contemplating on calling one of my aunts from my dad's side. We were still good at that time, so like, I knew that bitch was coming through. But I saw the time and I was like, God damn it, I think this bitch is at work. So I don't think she's gonna come through. So I was already debating on what to do because I couldn't call my mom. She didn't know that I was all the way in Santa Ana. She would've been like, why the fuck did you come over here? Who left you here? You know what I mean? So like, and I wasn't gonna be like, oh, it was my dad, which I should've blamed that motherfucker, but whatever. So he ends up calling my phone and keeps calling me. And you know, I was just like, fuck it. Fuck it. This is the only way that I can get home is if I use him. We're on the bus and I tell him, I was like, hey, can you pay for my fare? Because like we, um, I had lost all my money. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, 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 little bitch. Hey, hey, little bitch. Hey, 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 little bitch. You don't know what's coming to you. We end up going to the beach and he's like, what's wrong? I was like, nothing. I mean, I was like, nothing, nothing. I was like, me in my head, I was like, I'm just gonna use you. So then we ended up just sitting down uh, just to like vibe and stuff. And I wasn't talking to him the entire time, dude. And like, se lo mereció. Like, why would I talk to him? So I was like, oh, I'm hungry. But I still wouldn't even talk to him. Like, girl, uh, you don't even have my time of day. You know, the rest was history. He ended up he ended up paying for my fare to go back home. And I ended up blocking him from my phone and everything. And, you know, nothing ended up happening after that. Wait a minute, just kidding. You think that was the last time I was going to see that motherfucker? Nope. 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 Because he hit me up a couple of weeks later. Because we didn't end up things like good. Like, after I left that day, I, I ghosted his ass. Bitch, you're not about to be disrespecting me and you not know, feel the consequences, little bitch. Oh, look, it's coming together! Before I show you guys the final result for the Lego set, I want to give you guys a huge thank you for listening and coming onto my channel to listening to this cheese man of me getting cheated on. You like that? You like that little bitch? You like my suffering? But let me just kind of finish off the story time, okay? So, the story time ends where he ends up hitting me up and he says that he hadn't had closure correctly and he kept thinking about me and all of these things and my idiot ass was like, oh my god, okay, maybe he wants to get back together, like, maybe we should try it and he's like, oh, we should meet up in the corner of this bus stop and I was like, okay, like, yeah, I'm done. He wants to know why I dumped him or like ghosted him. So I get there and he goes, so, why'd you ghost me? <laughs> That's the first thing Kamil, he said, like, he's stupid little motherfucker. He doesn't even know why, like, he probably didn't know. He just wanted to confirm, like, to be like, oh, well, okay, I, I got caught, but... So, he ends up telling me, he's like, why? And he's like, That's the only reason why you asked me to come out with you? He's like, no, like, I wanted closure, like, I wanted to talk to you, nah, nah, nah. And I was like, well, I ended up leaving you because you cheated on me. And then I just kind of, like, <sighs> like, bursted out into tears on you. Out of tears. And I just couldn't stop like tearing up and like telling him how much I hate him, like he's such a piece of shit, and nah, nah, nah. and mind you, I was like pushing him and like hitting him and stuff like that. Not like physically, but like you know, like <laughs> he, and then he's like, okay, well I have to go because I have to go to work. And I was like, bitch, like you came over here to like really, really end things, you know? Like I was like, what a fuck. So he's like, let's get one more kiss, and I was like. Okay, like, is this a movie? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's love now. <laughs> so he ends up kissing me and I leave with my hoodie up crying because I was like, oh my God, this is too 
you know like I just kept crying on the way home and like you could see him in like the bus like in the bus like just staring at me going like this and me crying like <laughs> like crazy dude I can't even believe that happened to me Honestly, sometimes I feel like I lie to myself to think that these things happen to me. Ah! No, like, I swear to God, like, this was all like a whole ass movie. Like, I can't believe that happened to me. Let me show you guys the finished product. Close your fucking eyes, and then when you listen to me and I say open your eyes, you open your eyes, okay? Un, dos, tres, pa' abajo. Un, dos, tres, pa' arriba. She's hella cute. I love her so much. I just don't understand why Alan didn't get me this. Like, this is like the perfect present. Not only do I not have to water it, but it will not die on me. How cute. I love her so much. What should we name her? Honestly, she looks like a Jasmine. I'm gonna name her Jasmine. I like you, Jasmine. I don't have to water you. <laughs> and the cool thing about it, you guys, let me give you guys a little close-up. Inside, it's just kind of like Legos, like brown Legos kind of just thrown in there. How cool, like they thought of everything. All right, you guys, well, that is it for today's YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did porque a mí me encantó just kind of sitting down and just doing my Lego set and talking to you guys about horrible things that have happened to me. That is like therapy. But yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Go ahead and comment down below what was your favorite part. Come back up, click that like button and that subscribe button. Y los miramos para la otra. Bye. Maybe it was- Shut up! You! You may not know it, cowboy, but we got a rule around here about blowing bubbles. All bubble-blowing babies will be beaten senseless by- <laughs>